worried they were in good form and they showed that today? Yeah, they did. They played really well. Um, obviously, we're uh, disappointed and that, that wasn't good enough. I think we were starved of the ball and we did have it. We were lucky to go two phases, so we barely even fired a shot, really. Um, but I think everything was going their way and that's when we got to learn to be able to at least, at least stem it and then, and then pull it back as opposed to it just being an absolute blowout. So, um, yeah, disappointing on, on many levels. Did you, um, did you rest it for the engine tray? Or what's the... He's got a, a very tight um, hamstring. You don't want to be messing with uh, messing with speed. So, uh, that, yeah, the reasoning behind that would have been uh, good to see him match up with, uh, with the speedsters. And they certainly, uh, well, they ended up with four or five tries, didn't they? Combined, Perry and Carlin, yeah. You were um, very pleased with the way they dug themselves out of a hole, but are you concerned that there's, you know, this game still inside of this team? You know what I mean? A big loss like that where... Yeah, look, man, no, like they happen. Like you look at New Zealand last night getting, you know, drilled by Fiji. Those games, you know, they do happen and that's where you've sort of got to be on all the time or, you know, this format is, is pretty difficult. One, one hit and you're gone. Um, but yeah, no, it is, it is a concern, and that's what we're we're working towards and in, in, in building it. We have shown, shown signs of it, um, and we've got another game to go and play now as well to to, to finish strong. But uh, yeah, they did did well yesterday. But like I said, I think with the amount of ball we had, we were never going to win it. And you get games where it just doesn't go your way, and that was that was happening there. But we have to find a way to to, to at least at least halt it and then try and swing it back. Um, yeah, partly. I think like if you do your do your core skills really well, um, and just try and try and build phases or make them play two or three phases to, to get that turnover, and then um, you know, you use, from my point of view, using your bench uh, well, and hopefully you know there's a momentum shifter there. But it's basically about doing the simple things, simple things well. You know, so they're not always going to go your way, and when you get to 14 nil, still in it. 14 seven, but when you get to you know three tries out, it's, you know in the second half, it's, it's a tough climb back. Um, but yeah, we were you know we were in it until probably like, well, so the second half to about the fifth minute there. But um, yeah, man, it's important to obviously maintain maintain some integrity and, and try and keep it as tight as possible. Well, you've got a handful there. of um, tournaments left before the Olympics. What are your main priorities? To win? <laughs> no, we're. I mean, we're. We're. Every time we, we go to, we're, we're trying to. We're trying to go out there and, and, and better ourselves and, and better each other. So we're about obviously building com combinations and, and cohesion. Obviously, if you're going to win one tournament this year, it'd be the Olympics. But I think the only way you're going to win the Olympics is to is to really find some some form and, and feel comfortable with with how how the team's playing and. Uh, you know, that, that's the goal, but um, our focus is on the next game and then the next tournament, and then hopefully, the, yeah, well, hopefully the outcome will take care of itself. Um, we look to give Luke Longo more time in the next one because I think he was on for eight minutes, didn't touch the ball. Yeah, I think I don't think anyone touched the ball really. That was that was the problem. So I mean, yeah, Luke's part of the squad. Um, he's in the, in the twelve now, so we'll, we'll use him um, in, uh, in in what's best for the team. So I you know, dare say that'll be on the field for for a, pe uh, a period of time, and you know we do, we do want to. See him out there and, uh, and and playing sevens and you know, in particular with the ball in hand. Um, and in terms of you know selection, it seemed like they were targeting small guys for restarts. You know, like you get a couple of turnovers. It, it, do you need some bigger bodies in the mix? Is that what you're playing? You know, well, you we actually won the we aren't we actually for the most part won the won the contact in the restart. We just didn't get in that in that sixes area. Like you're always going to have. Um, one sort of small player in there, and we sort of we sort of let them have JT, and JT you saw him go bloody six feet in the air and, and win it, but it bounces in the other, and, and they get it. So that's what I mean by the bounce of the ball. We were we had a strategy around it, but we just you know, either hit the floor and they ended up with it. You know, we actually won the won the aerial battle, but, but they lost the ball. So that, that's where you have to your defence has to be that group that you, you can get the ball back, and we just we just couldn't do it. Yeah, I think yeah, you have to. And uh, you look at like individually, the players are, are making uh, massive inroads. Like Lockie Anderson, I think, is playing really well. Josh Turner's going from strength to strength. Um, Louis Holland, I thought, had a fantastic it tournament today. Well. Well. Um, so absolutely, like we're not gonna, you know, a loss is not gonna change anything. Like um, I thought, yeah, we, you know, we, we played well, and it's how we, it's how we bounce back. Like two or three losses like that. Pretty bad, but not uh, one's not one's not nothing to be to be too worried about. You sort of cast the net as wide as possible. Uh, 
for the Olympics to just get as many different faces in, but you have to kind of start tightening it now to... Yeah, it, it is. It is casting the net, but it is a, a specific formula to it. It's not casting a massive net. Yeah. Who wants to play sevens? It's we've got a very core, strong squad, and if you can get a few of the, the ex players that played sevens or world class players that want to give it a crack, um, then they're going to add some value, and they need a certain amount of time, you know, within that to build those combinations. So it isn't casting a net. It's a targeted strategy around who we who we're looking at. And, uh, and and if they're interested, and uh, and that's that's basically it. So yeah. So how, how close are you to? I mean, it's hard, isn't it? With the limited time you've got, to really find your best team, and when you don't even get a chance to see someone like Luke with a ball in hand. It's yeah, I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's limited. Like you've got players here that have played for you know three, four year veterans. Um, we've still got uh, what's it, six tournaments left, um, plus our lead into the Olympics. So that's a lot of that's a lot of footing. Um, yeah, Luke is, uh, you know, he's playing over in, in Europe with Bristol, so we're not going to get too much access to him. So, you know, that's going to be, you know, uh, see where we're at with, with the team. But if we've got that as a, as a possibility, and he's he's certainly worked hard to put his hand up and, and, and be here, and that's, that's a great, great sign. But, um, yeah, it certainly gives us some depth. And when you talk about, um, you know, our, our centre, we lost um, ben, ben O'Donnell. Uh, hopefully get Simon Kennywell back, but you know, Luke sort of you know, puts his hand up in that in that area. So you want to have your, your secure core group and then you need some depth with it in case you do get injuries, which are going to happen in our game. So we're trying to make sure everything's, everything's covered, um, but have the best combination of the, of the, of the players going in. And uh, yeah, there's, there's, still a, there's still a lot of rugby uh, and there's been a lot of build up over the last uh, couple of years. So. Now we're focusing on, like I, like I keep harping on about, on, on the next tournament. But if we're going to win one, we, we want to win the Olympics, yeah. Are you still talking to Sasha Kennedy? Is he still in the mix? I haven't been here for a while now. He, he was certainly just focused on, on Japan and getting getting sorted there. And then uh, if, if things uh, eventuate or the, the conversation start, then we'll see where we're at, we'll see where he's at, and then and, and consider it. We've seen USA struggling until this point, and Fiji even, and they've come good. Do you think there's a few more dips in the roller coaster still before the Olympics, and it's going to be about sort of timing it perfect? Yeah, look, that, that's it's not unusual in, in sevens. I think, I don't know, like you, someone gets beaten and it goes all into crisis mode, but it's it's literally what happens in our game is that you can get massive wins and massive losses because it's so volatile, like mental and uh, physical over, over you know two days all those games and you're getting teams on and off and the bounce of the ball and it just explodes so definitely there will be you know like um, you know, New Zealand and uh, South Africa got off to flight and South Africa last week we're in, in the bottom in the bottom nine Fiji are back up again um, you know so 100 percent it is so you know we're you just gotta you gotta stay resilient and mentally mentally strong and, and right but you know learn from every every step of the way and you know, um, again, let the outcome take care of itself. Thanks, guys. Thank you.